And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Davison Donaguerra Figueredo! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, Davison Figueredo, usually a fast starter. Going to be interesting to see how he approaches the early portions of this round here. He is methodical. He can strike and grapple with any man in this division. But this matchup, he believes, provides him a lot of advantages. Let us see how it plays out. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Davison Figueredo going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. All right, doing work with the jab. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Figueredo gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Nice leg kick. Lands a big elbow there. Another one. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power, from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, and that kick is blocked. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. And that one certainly found the target. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Figueredo's elbow is blocked. Just out of the range with that right hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see. Who's going to be the last man standing? Oh, nice overhead right. So, 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Five minutes in the books. All right, take a seat. Relaxa. Respira. Look, you're being overly aggressive right now, okay? You're being way too hyper on this fight. I need you to calm down. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. 
All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Front kick by Aldo. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, massive knee to the head. Swing and a miss by Figueredo. Just over three minutes to go now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! Oh, nice high kick. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bails, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Figueredo's pass is denied. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, work, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Figueredo is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. That is tight. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. Senta aí, relaxa, tomou a água sim. Olha, tá muito perto essa luta, ok? It's way too close right now. So what I need you to do is I need... All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Good. round underway. Oh, nice jab. Oh, he's got a good left hand. Oh, spinning back fist. Nice crack there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Aldo's thigh and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. And he connects with the punch there. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. 
Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Aldo. Just missed with the leg kick. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Aldo's uppercut is blocked. Oh, left hook. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. There's the tap. Oh, oh. You're winning by submission. Holy smokes. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so how about that? Jose Aldo, your winner tonight by submission. He has certainly gone the knockout route plenty of times in his UFC career, but tonight leans on the grappling and leans on the BJJ.